In this video, we're going to be taking a look at guillotine cuts when nesting. Now, this is extremely useful for when you want to create quite a few rectangular shapes and you just want the cutter to go right the way along and act as sort of like a saw. So it goes straight along the sheet and it saves a lot of machining time. So here you can see I've created my back of the carcass and you can see that I have a red rectangle here and then a blue fold line there in the center. So if I click on nesting and the tool diameter that I'm going to use is 12. The tool path clearance, this is quite important, is going to be zero. I don't want any clearance in between the parts because the cutter's going to go right across and finish both sides. So it's going to finish both edges. I can add edge clearance though if I wished. So I'm just going to leave that at 10. I'm going to allow part rotation. I'm going to do it 90 degrees as they are all rectangular shapes. And I'm going to make sure that I select guillotine cuts. Now I just want to show you about the grouping. If I just turn off the group nested vectors and I want to create, let's just say, two of these carcass backs. So if I click nest, you can see that ArtCam throws up an error saying only two parts nested out of a required four. Now this is because this particular vector here is an open vector. It's not associated with anything. So ArtCam cannot nest that. So if we undo that, what we need to do is make sure that these are grouped. So if I click group now, you can see that that's all grouped into one entity. So now if I were to click nest, you can see that it's nested both of them together. So if I undo that, and let's say that I want to create lots and lots of these, what I can just do is make sure that it goes over the sheet. So let's say I want to do 20 of these and select my object and click nest. Now you can see that that's gone onto sheet two. Now I don't really need to use this sheet. What I can do is just go back to sheet one and just use this sheet one for machining. So here you can see that each one of these is a separate entity. What I can do is just select all of those and then click to ungroup all. Now you can see that that's maintained the layers. As you can see, that's blue and the outside is red. If I open up the vector layers, you can see I have two layers, the groove and outside. So here you can see the groove and the outside, but I also have a new layer, which is guillotine cuts. So what I can do with this is actually machine this layer. So if I close the nesting and I go to tool paths, if I go to create profile tool path, and I want it to machine along the vector and I'm going to do it along the guillotine cuts. The finish depth, let's say six millimeters, use my 12 millimeter cutter. Define the material, which is six millimeters and click calculate now. So now if I simulate this, you can see that I have all of my guillotine cuts what this does, it goes right the way along, comes over and then comes back, comes down, up and back down. Now this saves half of the machining time because when you're cutting this edge, it's actually cutting the other edge. So you're cutting both edges at the same time, so it's saving machining time. 